Did your mom uh, say anything else when you talked to her? No, she just said that Charlie had something important to tell her. Why do you even care? Just... Oh. You really think that I'm going to tell my mom that you're not a Buchanan? As I told you, I'm going to keep the secret. Okay? And I will. This remains between the three of us, and it will stay that way. Miss Vanderley, could you tell me which boxes get back to the house? Sure. It's the voicemail. Charlie, this is Jared again. Um, please, please, please don't tell Vicky that you're my dad. And um, <clears throat> don't tell anything until I talk to you. Jared, who's that? Is that someone from BE? No, no, I was just uh, leaving myself a reminder. Voicemail. I'm going to stop packing the car. Um, wait a second, Nigel. Now that we're all three here alone, I have a couple questions for the both of you. I'm sorry, Dad, I chose to involve you in this. Save the apologies. It's just time to be honest. How did you find out that David Vickers was my grandpa's son? Look, when we were at the ranch for the will reading, I overheard Nigel talking about it. Okay. Well, look at you have been talking to him. I mean, obviously it wasn't David because he doesn't know he's a Buchanan, thank God. So who else knows? Well... Wait a second, David came to the ranch out of the blue with his brand new wife. Who had to have known that he didn't have a dime to his name. Please, God, tell me. It's not the blackmailing, greedy Alex Olenov. She doesn't know the truth, does she? So Alex knows that David's a Buchanan. This is a disaster. Actually, no. Because, uh, well, Nigel here made her an offer she couldn't refuse. I shudder to ask. I gave her my inheritance. St. Blaise Island and the Dred Stewart. I'd say that's the height of loyalty, wouldn't you? I convinced her it was more than she'd ever recoup as Mrs. David Buchanan with no strings attached. She knows very well that loose lips sink ships. She will certainly keep her counsel. For now, until she gets greedy and wants more money and possibly a Buchanan man to go along with her boat. Go with me. The truth will come out eventually, but we can control how and when. Yes, and as long as our secret is safe, we have a prayer of fending off these attacks on B.E. Exactly. Speaking of, we got some work to do. We need to get going. I'll finish packing. Wait a minute. There's no way that it's just the three of us who know that you're not a Buchanan. I mean, what about your family? Well, my mom is dead, and my dad... Is... May as well be. Yes, I know that. That's part of your story. Was that true? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what about Pamela? Pamela Stewart. She came to BE. She she verified your story, your lie. I mean, did you and Nigel just pay off all of um, Grandpa's money-grubbing exes? Or okay, what? Please don't talk about Pamela that way. No one paid her anything. What are you saying? Do you really know her? Roxy. After my dad left us when I was still a little kid, um, so she used to be around a lot, and she talked to us about her great husband, Asa Buchanan. We used to love hearing the stories of, you know, these huge, messy family and all the crazy things they did. You know what it's like growing up somewhere you don't want to be hearing about all that stuff that seems so out of reach. Yeah. I remember the first time Allison told me about the Buchanans. Crazy Allison? Awesome. Yeah. Thought they were so glamorous and lucky. And you wanted that, right? Just like me. Yes, I did. You know how I feel, Natalie, because you feel the exact same way. We both wanted to be Buchanans. Now we are both Buchanans. You have everything you want, right? Not everything. Your choice. I 
don't know how much longer I can stand this. You can hardly date Miss Natalie while you're pretending to be her uncle. And you especially can't date her if she'll never forgive you. Believe me, she's a stubborn one. It doesn't matter how stubborn she is. Haven't you ever been in love? Hasn't anyone told you there's a difference between love and lust? Okay, I'm ready to go. We'll just hang in there, Dan. Okay? I love you. We'll be, we'll be leaving here in a few minutes. See ya. What's going on? Same old story. You know, I think your dad's right when he says that people are going to think of B.E. as vulnerable now that Ace is gone. B.E. is not vulnerable. I mean, Dad and Uncle Bo are doing an amazing job. We all are. I just... I've never seen my dad act like this before. You're talking about in that meeting with Cobb? Yeah, and it's not that he was tough. It's that he destroyed Cobb and he acted like he liked it. Just never seen him like this. To remind you of anyone? What are you talking about? Well, I've read just about everything there is to read about your grandfather. And for a moment in that room, I thought like I was watching Ace of Buchanan in action. You know, I'm not... My father is nothing like my grandfather. Well, you're acting like I insulted him. I thought you loved your grandfather. I did love my grandfather. But there were some things I didn't like about him. Like he was cold and ruthless. And my father doesn't have it in him to be like that. He's kind and gentle. So that will surprise you. Do you have your suitcases for the car? I'll help you. Hey, Phyllis, it's Natalie. I need you to find someone for me. Pamela Stewart, I'll let her know that I want to meet with her right away.